Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Potionomics. Let's go ahead and head back to Roxanne, because uh, I was thinking um, I I really do tend to like her cards. So, uh, oh, and right, I was gonna enchant something. Um, all right, a visual aroma and sensation, visual taste and sensation, visual sound and sensation. We don't have any uh, bonuses to any of those right now, do we? Good visual trait. Okay. It's all of those! Um, taste and sensation. Yeah, we'll go with uh, taste and sensation. That's fine. Whatever. Alright, and let's go ahead and uh, rank up uh, Roxanne. You know my trapdoor is always open. Aww. That's so nice of her. I need to work off some steam and yoga isn't cutting it today. Not even hot yoga with baby goats. I shouldn't ask. Can I help somehow? You're a faithful friend, Sylvia. Just knowing that knowing you want to help is helpful in its own right. That's why I asked you out here for a bit of therapy. Um, let me guess, retail therapy? Also, there is a bug on my screen. That's a, that's the worst thing about uh, these, these unseasonable uh, heat waves is bugs are, like, have decided to come out. Stupid bugs. Roxanne pulls a heavy sledgehammer from behind a bush. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. Wait, where did that come from? Oh, I have weapons stashed all over town. Can I, can I change my, my, my choice early? No. Um, mint, mint is wonderful. <laughs> Perhaps that's a haggling tip you can try. It's not all at all relevant to haggling. Oh, fine. Here's a coupon instead. Right. Forgot that was coming. Decrease cost of enchantments by 40%. Well, that works, thanks. Now, shall we? Roxanne has brought a satchel full of junk she found at a second-hand shop. There are dinner plates, glass pitchers, little ceramic animals. Roxanne sets them all in a row and sets to smashing them with her mallet. She's smiling now, exhilarated by the destruction. That's, that's a form of therapy. She then hands the hammer over to Sylvia, who isn't sure at first. But as terracotta unicorn shatter as a terracotta unicorn shatters beneath her blow, she immediately understands the appeal. Not the unicorn. <laughs> uh, I really do love that expression on uh, Sylvia. Fun, isn't it? I call it smashing gab. Maybe it should be my next business after this enchanting lark falls apart. Uh, almost smart to have a plan B. Don't sell yourself short. Hmm. I mean, both are good, but don't sell yourself short. Don't sell yourself short. The enchanting business is going to work. It's that sort of baseless optimism that makes me wonder sometimes if you and I are on the same planet. I could be the most talented enchantress of all time. It has little bearing on my odds of success. Tell me what's going on. We smashed... Now, Gab. If you insist. It's just a, that I have this exam coming up. It's a final hurdle in securing my business license. So I took a practice exam. It came back with so much red it looked like a murder scene. And I wasn't expecting it. I thought I'd done just fine. There's no shame in it. That's the whole point of a practice exam. It just means that you have to hit the books. Boom! Not, not like that, Roxanne. Oh, I tried that. I also tried biting, scratching, and kicking the books. You know what I meant. You need to study. That's absurd. I know all of this already. I'm running a profitable business. That pout is adorable. Why in the world should I have to study then for a test about how to run a business? 
this is the difference between practical knowledge and book smarts. The former might be enough to do the work, but if you want your license, you have to prove the you have the latter too. So let me get this straight. It's not enough that I've shelled out my hard-earned money and filled out their little forms. I'm also expected to parrot their little trivia back at them. All to earn, earn, all to earn the approval of, to do the work that I'm already doing. That is quite a scam, and I would know. That's the system we're stuck with, for better or worse. The business world definitely has its own set of rules. Just think of it like a game. A game? But you know if I play a game, then I play to win. Exactly. I know you'll do whatever it takes. Even if it means spending hours memorizing trivia. I know when a gauntlet's been thrown down. Very well. I'm going to crush this exam, Sylvia. I'll do whatever it takes. But first, I'm going to find a new hiding spot for this sledgehammer. I have a feeling I'll be needing it again soon. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, we still have the, uh, enhanced enhancers. Well, I will, uh, do that. I do like, uh, salt and peppers cards, but I might be getting a discount from them, too. On the other hand, getting a, um, uh, a discount earlier rather than later is always good. So, let's rank you guys up. Let's have some fun. Come on, Blood Brother, let's get out of here. Where to? There's a party at the Heroes Guild, and we want to see the place. As buildings go, that guild hall is one fine sea vessel. The fact that it's intact at all after a Kraken battle tells you those sailors knew what they were doing. And they really showed that old witch a thing or two. Uh, tell me more. Do you remember the day Maven was defeated? Remember? Jeez, how old do you think I am? Why the gray muzzles tell stories of a time when this particular island was totally off limits. Whatever else she was up to, I ain't one to judge. But keeping the riches of this place to herself? That gets my hackles up. Her death was good for business. And no disputing. Although... I do like that statue. They never found a body or nothing. Makes you wonder. Oh, I have my suspicions. Anyway, about this party, if you can believe it, Pepper and I weren't exactly invited. But we heard you know some of those heroes. Do you think you can get us in? Alright, get in my knapsack. I'll talk to Baptiste. Nah, let's smuggle him in. Alright, get in my knapsack. Alright, get in my knapsack. It'll be tight, but we'll be able to stroll right in. That's one idea, but I figured you could just, you know, open a window. Aw, they like that. Our cat-like agility will do the rest. Cat-like? You have something to tell me? Hey, this party's alright. I mean, nothing's on fire, but it's early still. I like the trophies. We could do something like that. We'd have too many. Our ship would sink under the weight of our many triumphs. Well, you could just rotate them, you know? Have, have uh, the latest trophy on the wall kind of thing. That would work. Salt and pepper are a pure injection of energy into the party. The crowd grows louder and more animated in their vicinity. The next round's on the captain! Huzzah! Sylvia is skeptical about the idea of mixing so much liquor with so much dairy. And when the pirates chug, she sips. Hey, Sylvia, you are wonderful. I am so glad you are a blood brother. Brother. Blood brother. Oh boy, somebody got into the catnip. Sylvia, you ready to go? I could use some help getting the captain back. Also, I've been getting dirty looks since that chandelier came down. Like it's my fault it wasn't bolted in better. I could talk to Baptiste, try to smooth things over. Eh, yeah, I ain't bothered. What's he gonna do? But here, but here, I was gonna give this give you this coupon anyway. You can always pass it along if you want if you want to mollify him. You 
coupon. Decreases the cost of treasure chests by 40%. Nice. I think I'd rather keep it to myself. Now you're talking like a pirate. Aww. Alright. Um. Now, I'm not too likely to use Luna's, but Muktuk tends to have good cards for me. Or am I. <laughs> I'm gonna get another coupon, aren't I? Uh, probably a good idea to just get the cube on then. Your presence delights me. Your arrival is like the dawn itself. Be gone, darkness, for Sylvia has arrived. Uh, darkness is coming in. I am always happy to see you, friend. I like a warm welcome. Never a fan of the dawn, though. Given the choice, I'd rather sleep in. That is a choice I cannot condone! Our time is too precious to be spent on repose. I work better when I'm rested, and nobody can be productive 24-7. Let's go with that. Nobody can be productive 24-7, that's a recipe for burning out. I do not believe that idleness is a cure for burnout. I think instead it is a symptom. But I do agree that it is necessary to sometimes step away from forge and canvas. And that is why I make time for pulp novels, gossip, and you. Aww. Yay, pulp novels. In truth, I had an outing in mind for today. You know me, I'm up for anything. Ooh, where are we going? We are close now, it is just up ahead. Muktuk leads Sylvia confidently through the trees. This is clearly a path he's walked before. The underbrush recedes, and the trees grow less dense, and Sylvia realizes they've come to a clearing. At its center is a large frozen lake. That's weird. It's not even cold out here. It is an uncanny and awe-inspiring feature of the landscape. This forest contains many such oddities. Our hero showed the, shared the location with me, in exchange for sharper weapons and a masterful shield. For now, it remains largely secret, but word will get out. Some enterprising raftin will no doubt find a way to monetize it. Hey! Ice skating rink. Muktuk, let, let's let's do this now. We'll keep the other business going. Business is going too, but ice skating rink here. We'll we'll hire some people to run it, but we get the profits. Let us enjoy it before this happens. Yes. Muktuk pulls two pairs of shoes from his satchel. They've been modified with blades affixed to their soles. Ha ha ha! Knew it. At first, Sylvia expects the shoes are some kind of weapon, but Muktuk dons a pair and then glides out onto the ice. This recreational activity is much loved where I'm from. Come, let me show you how it's done. Muktuk moves with remarkable grace upon the ice. He twirls, he leaps, he is as nimble as a deer. Sylvia dons the bladed boots that he made for her, and then goes to join him. She steps tentatively on the ice and falls immediately onto her bottom. Ooh, that is gonna hurt the coccyx. It's embarrassing, but Muktuk doesn't laugh. He offers her a flipper, pulls her to her feet, and takes her for a circuit around the lake. Aww. It almost feels like flying without a broom. That was incredible. I am glad that you enjoy it. But no adventure would be complete without some loot. Ooh, coupon! Decreases the cost of crafts and upgrades by 25%. Little late for his stuff. But there are two upgrades left, and there's whatever's coming with the uh, last area. You're spoiling me, and I like it. If you will pardon the expression, today is only is only the tip of the iceberg. My people, guided by the wisdom and the will of our ancestors, have created such splendor all across this world. The Coal Walrus of Rhodes. The Coal Walrus. Mm. The Pin of Pyramids, Tuskenge. I love these. I love these so much. All are sights that I wish to see one day, that I must see. And I very much wish to share those experiences with you. First Rafta, then the world? Exactly that. And yet, there is no rush, is there? Come, my friend, surely the wider world with all its wonders and worries can wait a while. Let us take one more spin around the ice. 
All right. Well, let's go ahead and head back. We'll go ahead and uh, get some things uh, set up for a selling uh, fest. Um, let's see. Uh, gardening. All right, what do I have that I don't have a whole lot of? All right, now I need something with C in it. Interesting that I get uh, six out of these. That's fine. All right. Okay, and then to the brews. Okay, let's go ahead and bottle the uh, dowsing enhancer. Ah, shucks. I was hoping for one one more. Well, that's disappointing. Masterwork Seeking Enhancer. Very nice. Uh, these are just superior. Yeah, they're not going to be... Uh... Well, I think I needed some more superior ones anyway. Grand Mana Potions. Masterwork Sight Enhancers. Very nice. <laughs> All bad traits, but uh, it's okay. It's fine. And Superior Alertness Enhancers. Excellent. All right. So, um, let's see... All right. If I want to make some very, very weak mana potions, I need B and C. So I got nine. Alright, those will be minor. They're perfect. Uh, this is perfect, so uh, it's actually going to bump up. What if I get rid of that? <clears throat> um, There's only a chance that it'll bump up. Which is okay. And you know what? I should probably actually do this in the uh, one that does not. That, that actually does eight. This one. There we go. Uh, yep, that'll brew in a three, so there's no point in uh, doing anything else. Um, so yeah, uh, if we get a perfect brew, then we'll get the uh, common. But if not, we'll have minor, and that's just mana by one. And this is basically just for um, uh, Zid. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's go for. Have I done. I have not done grand mana potions yet. I may try that. Try for that with a uh, different. Right now, I want... I 
this. That's 144, that's 88. probably want to get it one more star, so... Let's see... Yeah, that's just barely there. However... up to... There we go. Alright, so it's guaranteed to uh, uh, bump up to the next tier uh, without too much waste. We got some good traits in here. Um, I think that these are all going to neutralize themselves, so... I always miss where this is with it up here, so I'm going to try to get it down. I wish you could rearrange this a little bit more, or automatically arrange it or something. Uh, yeah, that's good. Okay, so we'll get uh, six superior health po I mean, uh, uh, masterwork health potions out of that. Um... Now, let's see if we can get Masterwork Mana Potions, which really aren't going to be doing anything other than going for uh, a selling kind of thing. Alright, so that's superior. Just need a tiny bit more. That is Max Magamins. Alright, so that is the best that we can get out of uh, this cauldron. And that will bump up. So, that's good. <clears throat> Alright. Um, that. That. And that. There we go. Go ahead and uh, brew that. Okay, what else? We don't know what's going to come tomorrow. I didn't grab any... Oh, actually, I'm not even sure if I went by Luna. I don't think I did. Oh, well. Um, what else do I want? Uh, I kind of want some more shadow. I think. Let's see if we can get some uh, good shadow tonics. So I need E and B.
Nope, that's not gonna be, uh... No, let's go with that. Okay, um... What B and E do we have? Twenty on B. No, I need forty. Right. Forty. Can't do forty. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of that one. Uh, superior Shadow Tonic, um, that will definitely bump up to the next tier, so that's good. Okay, um... There we go. Alright, and we have two more to go, that's nine, that's ten. Let's do the 10. Alright, what else uh, do I think I might need? Some more alertness enhancers could be good. Yeah, this is especially where I would like a, a thing that's just like... Give me... Uh, like... An auto recipe or something like that. On the other hand, magma beetles aren't too bad. Okay, and so, 165. So I need another 55 for C. And I need to do that in five things. Okay, um, that's going to be annoying. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect. stable. Yeah, I need another 11. There we go. 221. 220 would be perfect, but uh, um, because of the, uh, the 343, um, it gives you more flexibility on these. Alright, so it's only going to be a superior alertness enhancer, but that's okay. <coughs> Uh, let's see, 15. There we go. And finally, what else do we want? I have a fair number of some of these others. Um, petrification cures I was talking about. I want Grand. right there. Okay. There we go. Alright, so one, two, one. A C and E. 
we have anything that's A, C, and E? We do. Unfortunately, they are E and C that are even, which kind of sucks. Uh, it'd be really nice if it were A and E that were even, because uh, I'd have more flexibility with uh, C. Okay. How about A and C? What do we got there? Let me see, 132. No, 132 is too much. Okay. All right, we'll go with that first. Anything that's C and E only? 44 and 22. Alright, I'm not sure if I have. Uh... Well. That's going to be better. What about 128? Nope, 128 is too much as well. Twelve will be closer. No, that's too much. Do you have anything that's uh, like A sixteen? Yeah. That's what I need. A16. That's 40 and 40 for C and D, though. No, but I could do... that. That's too much, really. And this should get us where we want to go. That's too much. All right, I do need a little bit more. No small E's, though. That's the problem. E is just a pain in the butt to work with. I hate working with the E. No, I don't want to go 
up to 120. Alright, what do I have that has, like, low E? That? But I'd need to get rid of the buoyant blowfish. Okay. Let's see about 98. One oh eight might be okay. We can work with that. Let's see how that goes. I, I just kind of wanted to get to right here um, so that we guarantee the uh, the rank up uh, just to kind of minimize what else we use. That's 120. Uh, so 20A will do. There we go. 108. Okay. So now I need to get to 216 with C. And we're out of ingredients. Try that. Um, that's what, 14A? That's, ugh. That is kind of gross to try to get to. Yeah. I have a 10A. We got that. Nope, that's not enough. Okay, can I get enough just for C? Let's find out. 76. Yeah, do I have a 40? I do. Right, no, no, I goofed up. I don't need that. Uh, I need uh, 104. No, 204, I'm sorry. 28, I do not have. I do not have a 28. Do I have something closer? What about 30? That says it's perfect. And that's exactly where I want it to be. So, that works. All right. Yep. And that's going to be the last one. There we go. All right. All right. Bit of a longer episode with that brewing, but uh, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll I'll get potions laid out on the uh, tables. Um, and we want enhancers. I don't even know that there are really good enhancer tables. Pardon me, but we'll see. Anyway, that will be for next time. See you then, everyone.